teacher, my future, module four, a step-by-step guide. Preparation. Any person with disability can use Picture My Future. Before the first meeting, identify a support person who will facilitate the Picture My Future process. Make a time and place for the first meeting and check whether the person has access to a camera. Meeting 1. The support person meets with the person to explain the Picture My Future process. Talk to the person about Picture My Future and how pictures can be used to show things that are important for the future. Ask the support person to check in with the person every few days to see how they are going. The pictures that people use might be photos they take themselves or that they ask people to take for them. The pictures might also include photos that have been taken in the past, images they cut out of magazines or download from the internet. Check that the person knows how to use a camera and ask if they would like help with the task. Remind family members and support staff working with the person to offer help each day with taking photos or gathering other pictures as needed. Check in with the person every few days to see how they are going. Meeting 2. Exploring the pictures with the person. The person brings all of the pictures they have collected. Show them the picture library to identify additional pictures. Ask the person to describe each picture and make notes of everything they say about each one. Ask the person why they have chosen the picture and why it is important. Ask whether the person wants to order the pictures into groups. Work with the person to organise the pictures the way they want them displayed. Write a caption under each picture that reflects what the person said about it. Talk to the person about developing a Picture My Future resource, which is a collection of all their pictures. There are a variety of ways people can collate and store these pictures. However, it is important that the pictures can be accessed and used in conversation with those involved in supporting the person to develop their plan. No matter how the person stores their pictures, it is important to also record the conversation and the story that goes with the pictures. This is especially important where the person needs a high level of support to tell their story and where the meaning of the picture for the person is not clear from the picture alone. Meeting 3. Checking that the person is happy with their Picture My Future resource. Ask if there is anything the person would like to add since the previous meeting. Check that the person is happy with their Picture My Future resource and the things that it shows about them and their future. Explain to the person how they will use their Picture My Future resource to tell other people what is important for them, their goals and aspirations. Remind the person that they need to take it with them to their planning meeting. This has been a guide to the Picture My Future process. We encourage you to explore the resources that can be found on this module.